How's it looking? Yeah, we're ready. Okay. Cool. You ready? Let's go. Cool. Hi guys, this is Sam from Fluid Social. Today I'm joined by Owen. Hi. We've done uh, quite a lot of work together. We're pretty good friends now. Uh, but I haven't seen Owen in a little while. Good couple of months. It's been a couple of months. Uh, you had an interesting night last night. Oh yes. And you're presently a little bit hungover. I'm currently suffering the effects of say tonight. Yeah, the positives and, and, the, the, and the, the positives and the, the, the negative negatives, negatives of yeah. alcohol consumption. Nonetheless, way too much alcohol consumption. Yeah, uh, Owen and I are going to be filming the sessions that we have over the next couple of months and uh, giving you guys a good idea of what our sessions really look like, yeah. uh, what someone who is no longer a beginner looks like when they're out and about talking to women, uh, and generally how the sessions are structured. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the Sam and Owen series and you get a load of value out of the it. The saga. Yeah. Excuse me. It's a bit random, but you look kind of lost. No, I'm fine. <laughs> Are you sure? Well, I, just, I just walked past you and I thought, hmm, no, see if you need some help. No, I just walk out. <laughs> just, just go where? Oh, right. So that's why I... <laughs> no worries. How was that? Yeah, it was all right. It was very indirect. Okay. What did you say? Um, you looked at, I just saw you walk past and I thought you looked very lost. Do you need help? Okay. And yeah. she said, no, 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 I'm fine. Um, Again, that's something that is, the, con the whole way that that comes across is going to be dependent on your body language. Yeah. So I, I saw you got in front of her, so it was nice. Um, but if you say, with a smile, you know, and you look very lost, uh, can I help you? Then she's going to sense that why you're really there. But if you say, I just saw you and you look pretty lost, is, is everything okay? Yeah. Then she's going to be like, yeah, I'm fine. You know, so again, you have to telegraph some sort of, of that play it a little interest. bit. Yeah. Take a step back, you know, really analyze her, smile at her, and then she's gonna know that. Oh, I get it. He's just being subtle here, rather than <laughs> rather than actually asking me the question. We'll just get straight ahead. Okay. Um. So everything's good at the moment. Everything's yeah. So far, it's been. Oh, everything's been on point. Yep. Um. I found, because you mentioned about doing meditation, I found that yeah. really helps with like the AA side of things. Yeah. Um, particularly I'm doing, um, it's a thing called noting, where okay. you, you observe it, observe the negative feelings, and just Except let it go, yeah, pretty let, much. Let and I went them. out, I went out um, yesterday during the day in Berry, and able to do a couple of approaches, felt really nervous, but I was, on. Yeah. Was that the first time you've done some first time? In first a while? time I've done like a real session by myself. Yeah. Um, so it was nice to actually get back into it and do some sure, more. Man. Sure. So how did they go? How did it all go yesterday? Obviously the AA was back. But yeah, in terms yeah, it was of back. I mean, fundamentals and the basics that we've talked about. How did everything go? Yeah. Um, fine. I didn't close, but as you know, it's not really massive, massive issue. It's more the fact that I just go do it. Yeah, we've always it's say like, nice as, if, as long as you can walk away like feeling better than you did before. Mm. So even if you get horrible rejections, mm. as long as you walk away with a smile on your face, you found a way to find it funny. Excuse me, it's a bit random. I, I noticed you storming around. I thought you looked very nice. Before I come say hello. <laughs> yeah, I'm assuming you're in a bit of a rush. Uh, yeah, I've been doing before closing time. So say that, before closing time. Oh man, what is it you do? Uh, design. Design. What, clothes design or? <laughs> I am, um, you don't want to know about my job. <laughs> I work in a mental hospital. Uh, yeah. No, um, Norfolk. So I'm just up to see my friends um, who have now ditched to come talk to you. <laughs> What's your name? Rachel. Mario. Very nice to meet you. Oh, how far are you walking up to? I'm afraid I have to go, but it was nice to meet you. Okay, it's very nice to meet you Take too. Care. 
Take care. So, so that at that time you you just approached her walking, which yeah. is, which works as well, which is fine. Yeah. Uh, how did it go? What did you say? Um, yeah, we had a brief chat. It was you know it was a nice chat basically. I mean, yeah. I didn't really get much. So how did you open it? Um, I saw. I said, look, I've seen your store in the past. Thought you looked very nice. Got to come say hello. Yeah. See, find out a bit more about you. Or something like that. And she said thank you, or she, was she, like, she oh, thanked okay, me, well. and she was chatting away. Cool. So yeah, it was. Yeah, okay. It was, so what's the lesson there? I don't know. Okay. So if you're walking with someone, it's fine to stop someone from the side. It's fine to be walking along with them and say, "I just thought you were really cute. How's it going?" I always think it's a little bit better better to be a little bit ahead of them. So if you're talking, you're sort okay. of talking over your shoulder. Yeah, like I mean, I, was, I think I was behind. Yeah, so because so, when you're behind, it's like you're trying to catch up with them. Yeah. But if you're a little bit ahead like this, then it's kind of like you're casually talking over your yeah. shoulder. But then at some point, maybe you've walked 20, 30 meters, you just say, well, well, two seconds, two seconds. And you stop them and you say, I, I really can't understand anything when we're, when we're walking so fast. Actually, it's pretty cold, come here. And you can sort of lead yeah. her under the heater of a shop. Again, just getting any opportunity to, to lead and to make a decision that works for both of you. Right now we're stood in the middle of the street, so it actually makes sense for us to be, you know, under a heater or something. So yeah. you just say, whoa, two seconds, just come here, come here. And you bring her over, maybe hold her hand and say, so continue the conversation from there. Again, you've then made that decision, she's followed, you've stopped her, you've got eye contact, you've got that yeah. actual opportunity to build chemistry. So it's fine to approach from the side, but at some point it is much better to stop them so that you can actually build a bit of that chemistry. Yeah. So that's your lesson, but lesson learned, dude. Great approach, man. She was lovely. She was lovely. I think it's always, it's always the premeditation first of like, oh, I'm gonna get attacked, yeah. and like, obviously you're not. Well, it's the suffering you experience from the build-up to an approach far outweighs any of the pain that you're gonna experience during or after. So it's just one of those. It's a no-brainer, but to it, to rationalise that and actually act rather yeah. than thinking about it, is always the difficult part. Well, yeah, it's just your mindset, dude. It's just that you're not going to, like, if it takes you that long to warm up, then you're not just getting straight to well, the this, location This is just to do a fucking approach. Yeah, so it's... just do them early, though. That's the thing, because the longer you leave it, the more you're in the habit yeah. of leaving it and letting it sit. You've really got to just go straight out, and the first person you see that you like, you go to. It's very random, but I thought it looked quite nice. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd come say hello and see what you're about. Um, I'm really cold, so my eyes. It are is quite cold. Yeah. yeah. I'm also. I'm not crying. <laughs> is it that bad? <laughs> I'm also kind of hungover, so it could take some time. Let's start with names. What's your name? Rosie. Rosie. I'm Owen. Very nice to meet you. Where are you heading? Um, home. Yeah. Just finished work or? No, no. Um, no, I was just with my boyfriend. Um, oh, <laughs> slide that one in there. Yeah. Um, and he took the tube and I was taking the bus. So. Is there a falling out or? No. <laughs> Is, I, I'm starting to feel like there's a falling out. Is there turmoil? Sorry. Is there any turmoil? Turmoil? No. We just started going out. Oh right. Yeah, two months ago. So You're very English. I just, know, yeah. I just noticed you're very English. Where did you think I was from? I wasn't sure, that's why I kind of wanted to say hello. <laughs> yeah. So how long have you been going out this guy for? Two months. Two months. Ah, honeymoon period. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be cheeky. If it doesn't work out, I would quite like to see you, guys. <laughs> that's very nice of you. Um, but it's going quite uh, well. <laughs> it's go yeah, well. Yeah, it's the first two months always do. <laughs> so. I'm leave it up to you, it's in your hands. <laughs> Even that, I'll give you my number if it goes up to Swanee. Oh, uh, okay, sure. Yeah, okay. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Um. Oh, I'm not, up. I'm not used, to, oh really? Jesus. Three, seven, five, four, five, nine, nine, two, 
five, eight, four, go. <laughs> Love to see you. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> How was that, man? That was nice. Really, really good. Yeah? Yeah. Awesome. Well done, dude. Se second one, straight in again. You went straight in, straight up to her. That hesitation, and that reflects in your confidence. Let's just have a little breakdown of that one. Yeah, so go for it. Tell us, tell us a little bit about right. what happened. So, she's really, really easy to talk to. Um, responded quite well. I did that thing that like you said, like, be a bit coy, um, be a bit more playful with it. Um, she responded quite well to yeah. it. Um, she had a boyfriend. Yeah. So, and now we're only just going out, just a couple of months. Okay. Um, so I was like, so why is he not here? It's like, oh, he's got the chief. Is there a bit of turmoil going on? I feel, I feel like there might be some turmoil issues. Okay. Um, and I pushed, I asked about the number, I said I'd quite like to see you again. She's like, mm, I'm not sure. So I was like, okay, yeah, yeah. what if I give you my number? If it goes wrong, I'd very much like to see you Love again. It, you man. can give me a call. Love it, yeah. And then That's, the bus came really quickly, so I had to talk really, really nice. quickly. That's really nice. Because always, you, you never want to just be saying, look, I want to fuck with your relationship, I want to fuck it up. You always just want to be saying, look, we're young, like, there are alternatives. If things never, like, go wrong in the future, that at least we've got this backup option. And if it does go wrong and she thinks, you know, fuck it, he was a cool guy, I actually quite liked him, then why wouldn't she message you? Yeah. So congratulations. I mean, it, was a, it, was a awesome. nice, it was a nice, fun interaction. Yeah. I thought of that one up on the spot and I thought that was genius. It was genius, mate. This hangover is doing you wonders. So I'm going to get drunk more often. More of that. So, you no, know, I feel like the more I do it, the more... The easier it will become yeah. for you to do it. Yeah. You know? And it's all about that momentum. After we've had a session, you're usually fine for like, mm a few days at a time and you go and get great results but then yeah. obviously if you don't keep the you cogs get, you get fired up and then yeah. um, it's easy to let it sit for a while isn't yeah. it but uh, just staying social is really the key to all of this yeah. always keeping yourself talking to to individuals whether they be working in in here enjoying the juice yeah. or out on the street or in your supermarket okay so we want to sort of put you in some more high pressure uh, yeah, situations. situations. Two women. So let's think of a few of them. So there's two women. Yeah, well, you wanted me to throw you into some slightly more uh, testing situations mm. and ones that are a little more unusual. And really that process of, you know, trying to talk to people at bus stops and stores. Yeah. It's not that they're harder in themselves. It's just that they seem harder because we haven't done them. Yeah. But once we realise that in every situation, it's just it's, a person. It's just a conversation yeah. as well then you, you just figure out how to adapt and yeah. how to calibrate yourself. And I think this is part of where I'm trying to go, is just do this. I don't do it as a session, I do it in my day-to-day -day life. Yeah, this is a lifestyle now, um, it's got to be. It's getting there, it's taking a bit of time. Yep. Um, but yeah, I mean, I go, like, after work, I try and do at least one approach a day. Yeah. Well, over the next couple of months, that's going to be the big focus of our sessions is integrating this into mm. your lifestyle so that you only really come and see me. We correct any, any minor obstacles yeah. you're having and then you can just go back to the lifestyle and, yeah. and make the best of it. But yeah, no, I think my goal is one approach a day, minimum. Yeah. Um, that's what I would like. If I don't get killed by a bus. Two women, so let's think of a few of them. So if there's two women, if there's a, a mixed group of, of guys and girls. And obviously in those situations, you've got to account for uh, the relationships that there might be within the group that you don't really understand. Is she with a boyfriend, you know? You've got to really be socially well attuned to go in there and, and not fuck it up too badly. Um, mixed groups. People working in shops? Yeah, um, I, I do those anyway. Um, but you know, it's always good to get some practice on them. Yeah, and also they say, you know, if you want to get the number essentially, or if you want to continue the conversation, there's certain ways that uh, it can go very wrong and ways that it can go very well. Generally, I find that giving my number to them in a very calibrated way, yeah. creating a little game out of it where I give them my number, that often works better in those situations because even if I do get their number, 
sometimes they won't message back because they're a bit annoyed that they were put in that situation yeah. where they had no way no of choice. escape. Yeah. No choice, yeah. So there are differences in the way that you, you sort of frame the different approaches depending on the context and the environment. Okay. Um, so some of these are going to be walking, some of them are going to be standing, some yeah. of them are going to be in different different shops and stuff. Yeah. Um, what have been some of the obstacles that you've been facing um, when you've been doing the approaches? It's mainly all mental. Um, as okay. you know, I'm quite an anxious person. Yeah. Um, but yeah, most of my obstacles have been mental. Like it's been. Okay, so let's say the, the interactions it. you had yesterday. What? Give me a bit of the flavour of what they were like. Um, so, I mean, I spoke to one girl who didn't speak English. Yeah. She was Japanese, I believe. Um, so that was a bit of a there was a bit of a language barrier. Um, had a good laugh with it, but you know, it's it was harder to sort of. Okay, so again, we always talk about there's a lesson in every single. Uh, every single person you talk to, there's something to learn. Yeah. In that case, if there was a language barrier with a Japanese girl, then what's the lesson? I tried to get um, Google Translate. Yeah, up, that's but... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, if that's what you're trying and for whatever reason it was a little awkward or it didn't quite work, maybe the thing would be to learn the basics of what you need to get by to speak Japanese well enough so that you can actually communicate. So what do you want to learn? Hello. How are you? Um, when can I see you again? A little more <laughs> forward. A little more forward. Because you don't really need to know how to say, can I get your number? Because you can simply say, when can I see you again? And then give her your phone. When yeah. can I see you again? She takes her phone, puts her number in. So again, keeping it really minimal and simple, if you're talking with a woman that you don't know the language of or you can't speak fluently, go away and treat that as a lesson. Learn the very basics of what you need to get by uh, so that next time you come across someone like that, then you can communicate at least a little bit and build some sort of chemistry. So again, that's sort of homework. Hello, yeah. how are you? When can I see you again? Yeah. And that's very cheeky and, and funny from a British guy who obviously knows nothing else in the language. <laughs> uh, and the other one? The other one? The approach. Yeah. Um, she was a bit too young, basically. So, I mean, I, I ended it well, but you know, she was, I believe she's 17. Yeah. And yeah, you know, I'm 31. Not a good idea. Not, not so, ideal. So you can just leave that in the same way, making yeah. her feel good. You come away. Yeah. It's not weird. It's just it is what it is. It's a shame you're too young. Yeah. Maybe if I see you in a few years, or you know. So that's fine. That's the lesson. Then. I yeah. think you saw the video on that one. Yes, that, that yes. cleared that. I way. also had a few issues with that before, and like the video yeah. helped. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. Great. Awesome. Okay, so in terms of the actual verbal stuff, you're all right. The approaches are all right. You're. I believe so. We'll yeah. find out in a minute. We'll find out in a minute. Okay, so let's. I guess let's just take it back to base, real basics. We'll go over one little piece of uh, mental theory and then we'll, we'll just yeah. get on with it. I think you will probably find that there is something I'm, I am doing wrong because I'm putting in a lot of work but not getting much results. Okay, so, well, we'll find out. Yeah. The one thing I want you to remember is that in all of these cases, you've got to remember that you're not going up to get to the get number. number yeah. You're going up to find out a little bit more about her to see if she's the kind of girl that you want to get the number of. This is so important, you've got to frame yourself as an active selector and not just someone that's happy to settle for anything. So in your mind, you're going to be saying, you know, this girl's really beautiful, how do I get her number? But instead, what you should be saying and what you should actually say out loud is she's very beautiful, I'm curious to find out more about her to see if she's the sort of girl that I'll want to see again and that, that we can actually build something special with. This way you're reprogramming yourself to see yourself as a selector, as someone that's actively choosing the women you want rather than just accepting anyone that looks nice on paper. Yeah, which is always good, okay. always, always needed. Outside that, go for it, go for it. Excuse me. So you sit down here, I thought you looked really interesting. 
I saw you sitting down here, I thought you looked really interesting. So I thought I was going to say hello. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're waiting for your friends. Have you lost your voice? It sounds like you swallowed a frog. <laughs> when did that happen? What? When did that happen? Yesterday. Yesterday. Night out. Too much shouting. Too much. <laughs> Do you have a job that um, involves a lot of shouting? Yes. Teacher. Reception. Oh, you have to shout on reception. Talk. I'm from Malta. Oh well, you need some water or something. You're from, where are you from? Where am I from? I am from Nor Norwich. Okay. So, a little bit far away. I'm just kind of seeing friends. Okay. Saw you here. Thought that jump was quite cool. Thank you. <laughs> thought I'd come say hello. What about you? you local? London? Yes. Yeah? 100. Oh, I know. I know. Been a couple of times. What? I've been there a few times, not not recently. Six times I've been there. Oh really? Yes. Wow. I like it a lot. <laughs> I'm detecting a bit of an accent. Where where are you originally from? Malta. Malta? Yes. Oh well. Wow. Yeah, it's very nice to have met you. Same to you. Um I'd quite like to see you again. Yes. Can I grab your number? Yes. You have Facebook? I don't, no, I don't have Facebook. So? Oh, uh, sit down. Uh, right, go for it. That's a very short number, is that right? From more to this number. Okay. Oh. Lovely. Contact. Right, what was your name again? Right, you're going to have to spell that, I'm afraid. I'm dyslexic. Lovely. Right, it's very nice to meet you. Let's see. I hope your voice comes back. <laughs> Take care. Awesome, man. Wow. On a roll. On a roll. I think it's the facial hair. Huh? I reckon it's the facial hair. Well, yeah, it's just the <laughs> conviction, I think, is the main thing. Mm. I think it's really that you're just going straight for them and not really giving a fuck much about the outcome. Again, let's do a, let's just have a little chat about that one and yeah. see what we can um, uncover. So, yeah, Different. how did it go? So you went straight up? And straight up. I didn't um, catch what you said. Again, I, I, again I use the, you look very interesting. Yep. Um, I quite like that one, actually. Mm -hmm. it's, um, it's different. Yeah, I mean, it's a bit more reserved, isn't it? You don't, yeah. You're not putting, laying all the chips on the table straight away. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, she had lost her voice. Okay. So I was like, you must be a teacher or something. She wasn't. Cool. She worked in reception. Nice assumption, though. Um, she's from Malta. Mm. Very nice. Yeah. Um, I took the piss out of her jumper a little bit because she's very furry. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's nice interaction. And then, and then you uh, asked for the number or? Yeah. I wasn't originally going to go for it. Then I thought, no, fuck it. I'm going to go for it. Yeah. Um, why, why, why weren't you going to? Um, wasn't sure if I fancied her that much. However. She was very, I like, you. she had a, a lot of sensuality to her. Yeah. Like you could tell that yeah. from the start that she was very like, I mean, the owning, fact, I mean, I could just tell the fact that the way she was responding, she liked me. She yep. liked having this interaction. Awesome. So, I thought, why not? Sweet. Yeah, so, dude, it was really good. Your body language was on point. Uh, one thing I, I would suggest is that when you start getting a positive response quite early, that's generally a sign that you can actually sit next to her. Okay. Because there's always this thing of if someone's sitting down, obviously in it's this case more... it didn't really matter, but if someone's yeah. sitting down, they're in a way in the position of power when someone's standing up. Yeah. It's just that you feel more in control sitting down, you feel more relaxed and in control. So as soon as you start getting positive feedback and you know that she doesn't want you to go, go away straight away, 
yeah. that's a good time for you to then just slowly just sit down next to her and continue the conversation like nothing's happened. It sort of levels you out a little bit. Yeah. There's no longer a sort of imbalance. In that case, didn't really matter, but just for future, that would be a good thing to bear okay. in mind. Give that well. You can sit down earlier, but phenomenal, man. Really good stuff. Happy, just keep it up. All right, guys, so you've just seen Owen and I out doing the, doing the normal thing. Doing uh, nothing. Everything you've seen just now took place within one hour, so it's pretty exceptional, the kind of momentum and the kind of results you can get after a little while, you know, when you yeah. do get the ball rolling early in a session. How do you feel about that as a one hour? I think that was, to be honest, one of the best I've had. Yeah. Um, like I was saying to you earlier, I don't know if it was filmed or not, um, when I'm out by myself, yeah. getting going is one of the hardest things. And today, I've just seen people just gone Yeah, I mean, that was the result of he comes out the station and two minutes later, he's already approaching a girl that he sees. So it's that kind of just getting, getting the ball rolling as soon as possible that leaves you with the least time of feeling claustrophobic, stuck in your thoughts and all of the other problems that come up. So if you guys, when you go out and you start, just talk to anyone. The first conversation is really a pivotal one. It can change the whole dynamic of the day. So you've seen what can happen in one hour. You've seen a little bit about how the sessions look when, you're, when I'm working with someone that's not a total beginner. We've done a bit of work before. Yeah. So over the next three or four months, you're gonna see Owen and I doing a, a, a whole series of these videos, documenting his improvements along the way uh, and bringing you up to the, to to the, next, to the to next level. So yeah, thank you very much guys for watching. Stay tuned for these uh, videos because there's gonna be massive value in them. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. As always, get in touch on the, the contact details below. Just drop me an email if you fancy a consultation. And if you guys want to talk to Owen personally and ask him about the course and how it is and how the coaching is, then uh, I'm I'll always list, happy to help. Yeah, always. I'll list Owen's details below as well. So thanks guys for watching. Okay.